Hello, my name is Brian. Um, I've worked for the rec for over 16 plus years and I love what I do. I work uh, primarily at Jennifer Serra after school program and Westlake Summer Youth Recreation program. I went ahead and made you guys a quick pico de gallo for Cinco de Mayo. First thing I use is Roma tomatoes, yellow onion, you could also use um, a red onion. Chopped up some jalapenos. I took out the seeds and I took out the inside skin so it's not too spicy. I chopped up some cilantro. And the last thing I'm gonna top it off with is some limes and some salt and some pepper. Uh, so the first ingredient I'll be chopping is uh, cilantro. Chop it nice and fine. And then once you do that, put it to the side. Okay, the next ingredient I'll be cutting up is jalapenos. If you want them nice and mild, you would take all the inside out. If you want them a little spicy, there's a little white skin down the middle. You can leave that in for a little spice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cube these up as small as you can. The next ingredient I'll be using is a yellow onion. You can use a red onion, you can use a yellow onion. I like the yellow onion because it's not so strong in flavor. So I'm gonna cube it. So I'll show you a trick that you can get nice cubes. So you use your knife on the side, cut as deep as you want. Then you're gonna go down with your knife. The next ingredient I'll be using for the pico de gallo is um, Roma tomatoes. These are a little more firm and don't have so much fluid. I'll show you just the same thing if you want to go down with your knife. And then once you're done cutting straight, you'll flip your hand around and you start cutting the cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up for you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna put in the bowl is all the tomatoes. The next thing I'm gonna put in is uh, the onions. Add the jalapenos along with the cilantro. Go ahead and start rolling out the limes. So to get the juices flowing, you wanna put them down, roll them back and forth to get everything loosened up. Slice this down the middle. And I'm going to put the juice in the bowl. I'm gonna start out with one lime. Once you taste it and you feel like it needs more lime juice, you can go ahead and add more, but I'm not making a huge portion. That's so what you're gonna do is you're gonna add some salt and pepper. I'm using kosher salt. You can use any kind of salt you want. Like I told you in my other video, when you're seasoning, you wanna do it up high so it spreads all throughout the product. This is not found too much in pico de gallo, but I'm gonna add a little bit of cracked pepper. Last step is to mix one more time. And there's my version, pico de gallo. I hope you guys have a wonderful Cinco de Mayo and hope everybody's safe and healthy. Take care.